about a game. It's a red skin. y'all like change the scenery change the background <laughs> yeah because um i'm sorry y'all like my eye is very like what's the word blurry <sighs> okay um so yeah change the scenery change you know everything or whatever because um today's video is what's in my hospital bag and I've been so excited to do this video because I've been watching so many videos of people um, doing their what's in their hospital bag and I've been taking like, you know, some little things here and there. I have some things that I still need to get um, for my hospital bag and for her baby girl's hospital bag too. Um, I'm going to start with my hospital bag first and then I'll leave baby girl's hospital bag last um yeah so i'm pretty excited i don't know why i'm so excited to do this i just feel like this is so fun okay so i have this lacoste duffel bag that i'm gonna be using um it's pretty big like this is a big bag um i was thinking about ordering because it was another bag on amazon that had pink in it, and it was black and pink like Right up the bag is. I was thinking about ordering another one because you know this look a little big, but we're gonna make it do what it do. Okay, because I ain't gonna be carrying it anyway. So. Okay. Oh, there gonna be. Okay. So first and foremost in my bag, I have a throw blanket, and this is just you know for me when I'm in that bag, so I don't be cold because you know. I don't like to be freezing. I like to be cold, but I don't like to be freezing. Hospitals be cold, cold. Then I have in this little sack, I got this from Target with my sheets. And the thing broke off of it, but it's two pillowcases in here. Um, I think having pillowcases, like I'm so hot. I think having pillowcases is important because, you know, we need some pillowcases. And this is the big part of the bag, FYI. I haven't did this out like that. And this is the pillowcases. Then I have two washcloths. Bring on washcloths. I'm just take my purse off. Um, I have a towel. Two washcloths and a towel. And then we're getting into my clothes. So I have the silk robe I got off of Amazon and I'm gonna just be lounging um that's just something I'm gonna be lounging around in because I have two um what do you call it nightgowns I have this one and I both I got both of these off of Amazon too and they're just I have a navy blue one and a gray one and they're just like this um, it's it's like I was like damn this is like a shirt but when I put it on it was like a night a nightgown so it's okay and I got the ones that's like with the spaghetti strap so I could just pull the nipple out you know what I'm saying um because I didn't get any maternity ones I don't know why I didn't get but I didn't get any maternity ones um I have a sports bra and that's for me to go home in. And I have some underwear and I have these. So um these I took my maternity photos in these and they're like um when I used to cheer back in the day, you know, the spank things that go underneath your uh, cheerleading uniform. This is what this is. They look like boy shorts, but they're not. I got these from Walmart. Um I ordered these from Walmart and this is just basically for extra 
support. So if I have on like regular underwear with a pad on, like a maxi pad, I have these just to make sure nothing, you know, goes through. And if I have on one of these gowns and stuff, just to make me feel a little bit more secure, I packed these just in case. And then I have underwear in here, which y'all don't really need to see. And I have two pair of socks because I know the hospital gives you socks. So if I was like, I'm going to just be wearing the hospital socks, honestly. And then, you know, I just bought two pair of socks just in case. Because I'm not a sock girl anyways. I don't like, I don't sleep in socks or anything like that. But just in case, I bought two socks. Just in case. So, that's that. Let me put all of this back in here before I get into my toiletry. And um, I do not have a going home outfit right now because the one that I was going to pack, which was, um, it was some sweatpants and a jacket. The jacket is too small for me now because of my belly. And I don't want to risk it being too small and me looking a mess and me looking like a fool trying to put that on. So. That's a no-go. Yeah. So I was just like, no, that's a no-go. I'm not even finna do that. Um, we're not even finna do that to ourselves. Okay. So, like I said, some stuff is missing from this bag. Comment down below whatever else you think that I'm missing. But I'm missing a go-home outfit, which I was probably gonna go to Victoria's Secret and get like a sweatsuit from Pink or like a Nike sweatsuit. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. Um... I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to do that on Saturday, bitch, because today is Friday. So, probably tomorrow, um, I have to do errands. So, I'm going to run to the mall and get me some stuff. And, um, I need to go to Bye Bye Baby, too. So, for real, for real. But I got this, um, toiletry make slash makeup bag from Walmart. This was $13. It was, you know and expensive it's a cute little bag i'm definitely going to use this when i travel and stuff because it's really really cute and um if i'm going somewhere where i, I need to do my makeup or something like that because i don't really i don't wear makeup unless it's like a special occasion so i have this to have for that okay so let's start with the top i think i have something in top okay Alright, so in the top compartment, this is what it looks like. It has like places for your brushes to go. And then it has this, I guess, to keep the brushes in place. And then it has a zipper part right here. So in this zipper part, I put nipple pads. And these are for, you know, like leaking and stuff like that, just to make sure I have enough. This whole pocket is full of nipple pads. And then I'm going to put some in her diaper bag too. I got a sample of nipple pads from target so i'm gonna put them in her diaper bag too and i'm sure i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get more because like i said i gotta go to bye bye baby and i haven't got my, my a free sample bag yet for me registering with them because the last time i went they said that they didn't have any so they told me to come back this week so hopefully i'm gonna call before i go but hopefully they have a sample bag so i can add some more little samples small little stuff in the bags or whatever so this is the big compartment here and so far what I have I have some pads these are my favorite pads like even when I'm on my period you know like um, these are the pads that I go for the purple ones that are thin and these are always they're thin but they're long so these are long pads but they're like thin I like I don't like the thick ones that make me feel like I got a diaper on so I got these. I got some soap, a soap container. I got some Listerine. We think of toothpaste. And I was like, why not? I have this at home. I have this at home. Why not just put it in here? Because you know, it's enough space. Toothbrush. Dove uh, Dry Express. I have some coconut oil body lotion. And I also have some Huggies. No, 
natural killing sensitive wipes and these are just for me or baby girl it really doesn't matter um i just packed them in my bag because she has some wipes in her bag already but like i said those are like a small little thing so if i run out of the one she has um i'm gonna just use these so um one thing that i do need to add to this of course is like um face wash and other things but I, since i'm using those things i haven't added them to this bag yet um so probably that night when i'm like going into labor i'm gonna have to like add all of this stuff in the bag which is kind of nerve-wracking because you don't want to forget anything you want to make sure you have everything or whatever and when you're in labor it's like you're not really thinking clearly about what the hell is going on around you so I just want to make sure I have everything that I need and I'm not missing anything. Okay, so that was the big part of my bag. And like I said, once again, because y'all don't be saying in the comments um, about, oh, you missing stuff. I know. I know I'm missing stuff. So on this side, I have these, which I'm going to use as my, so my shower shoes. They just don't be welcome slides nothing major i'm using them as my shower shoes and then i have a big boy lysol big thing of lysol like we ain't playing those games we uh let me just spray it just because you know how, how um for moms mommy root thing is right here and then she has this little thing so i just sprayed it um but yeah i i'm bringing the big one you barely can find the damn small ones anyway in the stores or the big ones. So I have two big ones. I said I'm going to just bring those with me. And that's on that side of the bag. Now on this side of the bag, we have these little things that say help gorgeous. You know, these are cute, you know, for the hospital. And especially because of my team, you know, I got black. And then I have the gray little um, nightgown. So this is black and gray. And it says hello gorgeous. My mom bought me these. And I haven't wore them, so I was like, what better to just wear them at the hospital? Since I have a place to home. If I end up wearing them, because, you know, am I really going to be walking around like that? Who knows? Who really knows? Okay, so that's it for my bag. Um, oh, another thing that I have that I didn't pack in here yet is um my birth plan it's in my room i have to put that in here i want to get an envelope like a um a protector to put it in and i'm gonna put one of her diaper bags as well so we can just have extra copies i i printed out three of them so i just want to make sure i have you know extra copies and stuff so that's it for my bag now moving on to baby girl's bag this is her bag has some hand sanitizer on it. It's really, really cute. She has two bags. Her dad um, also ordered her bag. This bag is from her auntie, my sister. Um, her dad also ordered her bag, but I've been paranoid because I just, I'm 37 weeks today and I wanted her to have go ahead and have her bag packed just because, you know, they say you're supposed to pack the bag on your 34 weeks just so she could have a bag. So we got this off of Amazon and it came literally the next day. Um, his bag's been taking a long time to come and it's supposed to come tomorrow. So I'm going to use the other bag as like a travel bag. Cause it's like a bigger book bag type thing. And this is more like chill and small. So if we like go to the doctor's office or we go out to eat or something, we can have like this small little bag. You know? So when you first open it, it has this little thing like this. Um, oh, let's, let's start right here. On the front so there's nothing in the front pocket. Um, it does have insulated little pockets for the bottles and then this, but I don't have anything in there right now. Because like I said, I'm probably going to add stuff. Like I know she's going to get a whole bunch of more samples like from Baba Baby. So when I go and pick up her samples, I'll add stuff. So 
Um, we're gonna start on this side. I have okay. The bag came with a strap, so you can actually wear it like around you. So I have this strap. I have clip sets, uh, um Matt Mom ma'am. And you know what's so crazy? This is from ma'am, and I got a free sample um pacifier from them and i was going to use this for that because her other pacifiers are avon like philip so you can't use this for them and i was going to use this for this and this is the same brand wow okay that's perfect but yeah these cute little one has a butterfly one has the um what is it called um, rainbow and that's all that's in this pocket just that so when i do end up packing that pacifier because she don't have i didn't pack that, that pacifier the pacifier is so there she'll have her clips in and, and on the other side there's nothing in there but it does have the little flat for the um what next so all right so you open it up and on each side it has clips and you can unclip them okay it also has the clips for the strollers, which is one of the breaks, so I don't have to hold the bag. Where's the other one? Oh, I only see one. Where the other one at? It's only one? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll see. All right. So, first things first, I have these pacifier holders and i got these off of amazon a two pack for five dollars great great deal um amber just has her pacifier her avon pacifier um and they can also clip on the bag so this part can be on the bag and you could open it and clip it that way i just thought that was a little risque because i feel like if i open it the wrong way or I hit it the wrong way and then her pacifier ended up flying out. I don't know. But I have two pacifiers. She's probably most likely going to wear her pink one outside of the hospital because her outfit is pink. But this one is the purple one. And she also has a green one too. With the pacifiers. Okay, so in this front pocket, I packed her a pacifier holder um, thing. So clip. So she can, I can clip this on her and it's two-sided which is really really nice and i have a pack i got a pack of four of these from amazon and i think these were five dollars too and then i have her mini mouse kits which basically just has her brush and her comb and her um nail clippers and stuff like that in this little pouch And then in the little pocket inside, I have some sample wipes, these honest sample wipes for her. And like I said, if these are not enough, because you know, there's only 10 wipes in here and babies go through wipes, like, especially newborns, like they go through wipes like it ain't nothing. So I know I don't need these, but I went ahead, you know, just in case, um, just in case we, we, God forbid something happened and we weren't able to go straight home because, like, the hospital is five minutes away. Um, I packed three newborn diapers. Even though I know we're going to get some from the hospital and we're going to have a lot to take home, I just went ahead and packed some just in case, you know. And then I could just keep these in this bag because, like, this is still my diaper bag. So I could just keep these in this bag or whatever for her. She can have them. What is this? Oh, some more samples. In there. All right. So I have some Aveeno baby lotion, and I also have boogie wipes, nose wipes. Um, a little small little thing. I think it's like one in here. Yeah, one wipe. So I was like, I'm gonna just put in her heart out the bag. She'll use it. She'll really use it. Okay, then I have this blanket, and this blanket is gonna go um, on her. Uh, what am I trying to say? On her car seat, like to cover her up, make sure she's nice and warm and snuggly. 
and her first take a picture outfit because she has two in this bag so her first take a picture outfit her guy mommy aka my other cousin um got her and it comes with the barefoot sandals really cute and a headband that's really really cute and it has her name on it which i'm gonna see her name until i Tell my, uh, y'all meet my baby because y'all know her name. But it has her name on it in gold and it's a bottle with it. So it's really, really cute. And I'm going to just put this on here just to keep everything together. But that's that. And then we have the banana bar. So the story behind this outfit is my mom bought this outfit before she even knew the gender. She she knew she knew that it was gonna be a girl. She bought this when I first told her I was pregnant. So um it's a little cute little tutu and stars. And then we have a little bow that I have. Um I wasn't I didn't get a headband because you know but this bow is a gift and i seen it i was like oh it matches perfectly so i'm gonna just try to put the bow in her hair some kind of way you know to make it really cute because she don't know if i can put a bow to make it look kind of cute so that's why i got this okay and then for her since i'm on this side of the bag i have So we're getting to her going home outfit she has two of them so this is the bib and this bib just says hello and dream big it has beer with owls and stuff like that i got this from my mom um and then she has these cute little booty shoes like the toe toe shoes and i got these um from my baby shower i don't remember who bought these for her but they're so so cute and they're they're from Target, it looks like. Yeah, like little designs. But they're cute. And then I have her first outfit. This is a newborn outfit. So if she can fit this, this is what she's going to most likely wear out of the hospital. And it's, I got this from Bye Bye Baby. It's Carter's. And it's um, this nice, cute little jacket with the ears on it. This is so cute. And a little onesie that says hello, so love. It's cute and it's so cute. It's so small. And you guys, everything in this bag has been washed. All her stuff has been washed. So, and she has these little pants that are so adorable too. And that's her first outfit. And then I'm going to pair it with her mittens. She has some mittens. And I'm most likely going to do these mittens right here. These little grubber mittens with the little gold polka dots on them. Some gold balls to go with this outfit. And then she has a hat. Too, and it has gold on it too. And I washed it so that's why it looks like this. Hopefully when it gets on her head it's going to Okay, so that's her first outfit, going home outfit, and then her second, and this is a new, this is newborn, and then I got zero to three months, and it's just a sleeper, because if she can't fit, some babies be big, and they can't fit newborn clothes, like if it's too tight, um, if she can't, I don't know how big she is yet, I guess I'm gonna find out when I'm 38 weeks, because that's when they check for me to see if I'm dilated, uh, I don't know if they're gonna check to see about her weight or whatever, but I don't know how big she is. So, um, I know she's going to be a little chunky. Because I was chunky and her dad was chunky. But, um, this one just says, this is a Gerber one. It says, happy smiles all around. And this is, uh, I got this from Target. It came in a three pack for like $13, which is not bad at all. And this is, again, zero to three months. So, 
just in case mama was going to eat it, she has another option. And I'm going to pair that outfit with these mittens. No, I'm tripping. These mittens, <laughs> I'm tripping. These mittens go with that outfit and these white or pink or blue mittens go with the Carlos outfit. I'm tripping. Okay. That was my, my bad. And she also has one i think it doesn't have frizz at the bottom oh no it does that was for this outfit so if i didn't if she didn't wear these i packed her some socks you know or i could probably put the socks on maybe i don't know we'll, we'll work it out we'll see but she does have those as an option too so yeah i have all of this You guys, I'm just so excited for my little monster over here. Long. It's gonna be a long one, but y'all watch it. Cause y'all like y'all watch my long video. No problem. All right. Some more stuff that I'm adding to her that day. They just got here today, which they need to be washed. Is some birthing cloths and some receiving blankets. I'm probably gonna pack one of these receiving blankets and um one birth cloth out of here. Um, just in these two. So, I'm going to pack these two things in the bag. I just have to wash them and add them to her room. And like I said, she's going to get more samples of stuff. So, I'm going to add the sample stuff to the bag as well because she will be going to have more samples when I go. So, bye-bye, baby. Um, but, yeah, I'm just excited to meet my daughter and her dad. been ready from day one to meet her so i i can wait a little longer honestly i'm not like pressed like to meet her yet but i got my little monster in my house okay so that's her diaper bag like i said i have to wash that stuff to add on to her diaper bag but in the comment oh i can show you guys so in the back you can access the diaper bag from the back. So whatever's at the bottom, you can access access have access to it. And then it has a um hidden pocket where you can put your phone in. Um in the back. So yeah, this is a really cute diaper bag. I think it's cute. Oh, I forgot to put my baby hat back in there. But yeah. Um that's it for this video. That's it for her diaper bag. That's it for my bag. The next video that I'll be posting since I said I am 37 weeks, I'm going to post uh, my belly cafe because I still haven't posted it. I edited, I edited that video, but I didn't post it yet. And um, I have to edit my video with my upload from 35 weeks to, no, 29 weeks to 35 weeks. Um, I have to edit that one. And then I'm going to post this one. And then, um, my next video should be my 37 week update and then my 30 week update if she doesn't come, 39 week update and so on and so forth. And then I'm going to do my living delivery vlog for y'all. So, you know, it's going to be lit. I'm not leaving y'all hanging. Y'all going to be, y'all going to get some good content from me. So, it'll be all right for you. Alright, so, um, uh, don't 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can know about every single time I post. I love you guys. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all like the little subscribers that we get in. And I love to see the moms like comment under my videos and stuff. Um, giving their opinions and stuff like that and stuff that they don't went through and they don't understand. I think it's just the greatest thing. I appreciate it. I love it. Um, and yeah, y'all support does not go unnoticed. So I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all. If I can get a person off the camera because baby, it's a little. Oh, ooh, ooh.